go on Eventbrite and type in, um, I can't even type in business or type in like club podcasting and all of the local events that are happening in your neighborhood regarding podcasting and fashion will pop up. And you can always, always go through and read about the event. And most events need vendors depending on the nature of that event. So you'll see that they're looking for vendors or they're looking for sponsors. And that's the way that I tell people to connect with people outside of their circle. Go on Eventbrite, type the type of event. For example, um, and this is, not, this is not necessarily related, but it's still business work. I have a friend that, um, that does boudoir shoots. She does like sexy photos. And she was saying that she needed to find different people to collaborate with in business. I took her on Eventbrite. I typed in boudoir work, boudoir, work, boudoir photos hundreds of events started popping up and she said wow i never knew these things existed wow. and you won't and if you keep looking in your neighborhood to find it sometimes you won't so go on event right look at that event and most times you can find a sponsor you can find a contact person you can find somebody to email and most people are lucky to have you and even if you can't come out physically ask people if they need vendors to put their business cards in there i just want to put my business cards in your event and sponsor it let me sponsor your gift bag I've sponsored gift bags for events in Louisiana. I've never been to Louisiana, mm. but my merchandise has. So do little things like that that get you outside of your bubble and the people that you know. You finna have a lot of people start new businesses. You, you yeah, but a serious game. It's gonna be like six hundred new businesses in two days. But when you when you go when you go to these vending places, uh, for people who might not know, do do they charge you? Is it free sometimes? Is it free all the time? Because I know some people that put stuff together, and usually to it costs for the event space. So they'll charge like fifty dollars or something like that. Service fee. Most times it does. Yeah, most times it does cost unless you know that person. Um or if sometimes I've seen a lot of free ones, um, but most times they cost. But I mean, I'd be telling people like the investment you put into your business is the same. The way that you approach your business is the way that your customers are going to approach you. So if I'm going to a vendor and I'm trying to buy something and I'm asking for a discount on these shirts or these hats that I'm about to get stitched up and sell, then I can't be mad when a customer come at me trying to look at a discount for these hats that I just got stitched up to sell. Like, if I approach people looking for a discount every time they're trying to do work for me that I'm trying to give to my customer, then my customer is going to approach me with that same energy that I approached the vendor at to buy the shit. So you can't be afraid to invest and spend money on your business and yourself. Because the thing is, if you spend $50 at that vendor table, then you need to make sure your ass is willing to do $50 worth of work, whether it means talking to people, passing out business cards, make your $50 work for you. Because the only person that's going to make it or break the $50 that you spent is you. Once you get in that room, you determine if you're going to walk around and speak to everybody or not. If you want your money to go to waste, then don't. Just sit there and wait for somebody to walk up to you. <laughs> That's facts. All right, so, uh, true. Let's break it down a little bit more. So uh, how did you get the materials and all that type of stuff? Because this, this type of stuff ain't free. It don't just pop up out of thin air. So where did you get all the, the money for the materials, like the shirts and the hats? You are you know, asking secrets. Stuff. All right, so I'm going to draw some game on here for y'all that I have never dropped in person. I actually could, I could drop a class on this entire business model. Um, now my business model is a model referred to as drop shipping. Drop shipping is the cheapest way to start a business if you have no money. The, a month after I launched my business, I was homeless. I was dealing with homelessness for six years of my life. So I had to start a business with a business model that did not require that I hold inventory. The way that drop shipping works, if Anthony has a hundred bikes and his bikes are $20, I can, and he wants to, he holds them and he ships them and he makes them. He makes bikes, but he just has a business making bikes and he'll ship them to whoever. The way that drop shipping works is I say, Jemana Creer has a bike business and my bikes are $40. And when somebody buys a bike from me, Anthony will take his $20 bike and ship it to my customer for me. I never see the bike. And I give him the $20 for his bike and I take the $20 for profit. So that's how drop exactly. shipping works. Drop shipping works where somebody else just holds your product, somebody else ships it out for you, somebody else manufactures it for you. You design it, you list it on your website and you sell it and you market it. You don't hold it. You never have to see that shit in your life. I buy all of my things for quality purposes. And the company that I work with is local. So I can drive 
to their office to go look at any new products that I that they have. The con with drop shipping, if there be one, is that you can only work within the range of products that your manufacturer offers. The pro is my manufacturer offers everything. So that's why I have t-shirts, mugs, bathing suits, kids clothes. Like you just find a drop shipper that offers a product you want. If you want it custom, you have to go with a specific drop shipper. But these people that are selling like, like uh, coffee makers online, 90% of the time, they're being shipped from a warehouse that they never ever go to, that they never ever see because it's being drop shipped. That was some real Ooh. game right there. Yeah, she had some game. She had some <laughs> game for him. She was not playing. I, I told you, I said, I'm going to drop some game. I've never, I've never spoke about my business model, but with this being a business podcast, it's appropriate that people know that. Because um, like I said, when I first started my business, um, a month afterwards, I became homeless. And so I know a lot of people that are like struggling and being like, well, how can I start a business in this state? You don't need money to drop 